welcome back to the sound for more channel and welcome back to another tutorial on loopy pro today i am going to show you how you can create automation inside loopy pro which has been recently added which is a great feature for loopy pro 2.0 before i continue i would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel Additionally, if you would like to support what I do, please do check the instruction contained in each video description. Thank you again. So we are inside the UM, we create a new audio channel and we instantiate Loopy Pro. And there it is. Okay, so um, we're going to click on the edit here to edit the canvas. We're going to remove these row and then we're going also to get rid of lot of columns here which we don't need so that we are left with this orange clip perfect next we're going to extend and to the bottom and also to the right we're going to add a slider and i will show you how it works um, in a moment so bear with me we're going to add also a midi clip there it is and also a xy pad Okay, so we exit the edit in the canvas, we scroll up here on this orange clip and we import a loop, it can be anything really. So just choose one and open it and then import it. Okay, let's play it. Perhaps I'm going to import something uh, which has a little bit more um, movement, something like perhaps this one. Let's check it out. Okay, let's try. Okay, could do, but I'm going to choose a different one, perhaps this 99 here, and uh, yeah, much shorter to load as well. Okay, so hopefully we are there. Let's click play. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we go back to the editing the canvas. The first thing I want to do is to link this slider here to um, the clip so that when I change the volume on uh, the clip you see the changes in the slider so let's click on the slider when it says a value change click on that and then clip adjust uh, parameters so we click on that target we say specific clips this one and then back and back you can see we are adjusting the parameter volume okay and there it is okay perfect next what I want to do is click here on the XY pad click on customize and we want to do the same thing when I move up vertically so on the Y value we want to adjust the same parameter in terms of volume here so as a target we get the same specific clip okay there it is okay let's exit here let's click play and then adjust both here vertically uh, on the pad and also here on the slider You can see that I can adjust the volume up and down uh, using the XY pad and it will also reflect the changes on the slider here. And I can do it also here on the slider as well. Okay, it would be nice to record um, the uh, changes in volume for a session then have them play back. That would be fantastic if we could do that. And now you can with MIDI clips or MIDI loops. So we go back to editing the canvas. We click again on the X, Y pad. Here where, where we have the Y value change, we click on plus to add another action. We search for MIDI because we want to send a MIDI message every time we change the position vertically on the pad. We select CC here and value zero, it is fine. Then as a target, we want to send these to the yellow color, which will be this MIDI clip here. 
Now, of course, if I play and I change, nothing will happen, right? Or nothing different than before. I can still change the volume up and down. The difference is, of course, now that I can put this MIDI clip in recording mode and as I move up and down here on the XY pad, it will send CC messages and those will be recorded on the MIDI clip here. So let's try. And you can see they've been recorded because you see the automation curve here on the clip. Now, if you swipe up like so, you see also the automation uh, curve here. Now, you can edit it, but you don't see it in the editor yet, but it is coming soon. Okay, so now we have recorded the automation inside the MIDI clip, but um, it's not playing it back, so I don't see the changes in volume on the clip as it's being played. And that's because this MIDI clip is not sending back messages to either this slider or this MIDI clip, which in turn will send the messages to, um, uh, sorry, to this XY part, which in turn will send the messages to this audio clip to increase or decrease the volume. So what we need to do is click here on the hamburger menu. Let's go to control settings. And this might sound a little bit um, complicated, but it's not. Under project profile, let's go to the default, which is the active one. Let's click here. Here is where we can establish a new binding. So click add new binding. So what we want to do is we want to trigger a widget and that widget as a target would be this widget here because we want to trigger this widget here with messages coming from this MIDI clip. And if I move it up here, it will then send the messages here to this audio clip to change the volume up and down. So let's choose this widget here. We ensure that it says Y value change. It is adjust continuously, which is perfect. And let's click save. Now you see that the trigger here to have this action to be performed is unassigned. So click on where it says unassigned and select the, the color yellow, All right? And um, now make sure that this says continuous so that it will send continuous CC messages, okay? So if you go back to binding, and click save, you can see we have yellow CC0, which is actually, of course, the Y value changes on the XY pad, which is this one. And now let's play. So as you can see, as the MIDI clip is being played, it follows the automation curve, which then send the MIDI messages here to move up and down the Y value here on the X, Y part. As you do that, it will send uh, messages here to adjust the parameter on the audio clip here to increase or decrease the volume. Indeed, if I click play and open here, swiping up the MIDI clip, you see also the automation curve being followed as it's being played. And that is a nice way, of course, to uh, create automation. You can use that in many different controls and widgets, buttons, etc. inside uh, Loopy Pro. And of course, you can uh, extend it to also external controller. There is also another way to actually create automation, which is a little, is a little bit easier, which is about MIDI Learn. But what that will do is will create in a more simplistic way, these binding that I have showed you earlier on. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.